You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are doing a tribute to all of you new first communicants and talking about Eucharistic miracles. We've already discussed how the Eucharist demands quite a bit of faith from us because there is no tangible proof. It still tastes and feels and looks like bread and wine, but we know that it is truly Jesus present. And at certain points in history, Jesus has given proof to this. Yesterday, we talked about a miracle that happened in the 700s when a host bled and tissue was found that later in the 1970s was tested and proven to be tissue from a heart. And this this host with blood and tissue on it, it's still available for you to see today if you travel to Italy. Today, we're going to talk about two more Eucharistic miracles. And for both of these miracles, even though they happened hundreds of years ago, you can travel to the parishes where these miracles occurred and still see proof of the miracles today. So the first miracle occurred in a little town called Orvieto, Italy. Now, once again, a priest in this parish was saying Mass, and he, too, was struggling to believe in the Eucharist. He just wasn't sure he really, really believed it. And yet he was there saying Mass, and once again, during the moment of consecration, when he said, This is my body, and this is my blood, a host began to bleed. This time, however, the, ho- the blood did not stay on the host. It actually drips down onto a cloth on the altar. Of course, the priest fell down. He recognized the miracle, and he ran to the Pope. It happened that the Pope was visiting, so he was able to go see the Pope, confess his sin, and be reunited with full faith in the Eucharist. Now, this cloth that was on the altar that contains the blood that dripped from the host is still on display in this parish in Italy, even though this happened in the 1300s. Now, a little bit more recently, but still a long time ago, in the city of Siena in Italy, this happened in the 1700s. Now, there was a festival going on in the town on this day. It was August 28th of that year, and a festival was going on, so people were a little bit distracted. Thieves broke into the church when no one was paying attention, and they stole a beautiful golden container that was filled with consecrated hosts. So you know how after After communion, if there's any leftover consecrated hosts, they are put into a container, oftentimes a beautiful golden container, and put into the tabernacle. So the thieves stole this valuable container, not realizing that it was filled with consecrated hosts. They ran away, but then a couple of days later, another priest in a different parish opened up a collection box where people could put donations to the church, and inside he found all of these consecrated hosts. So the the thieves had taken the valuable container but dropped these hosts into this donation box. Well, the donation box was full of dirt and spider webs, so the hosts themselves were very dirty, and they weren't they, you weren't able to eat them anymore. As we know, with the consecrated hosts and wine, we would never just throw them away or put them in the garbage or even put them down the garbage disposal. This is Jesus Christ, after all. We dispose of them in very reverent and sacred ways. So the priest at the time decided that he would just let these hosts disintegrate, that he would just put them in a container and let them sort of turn back to ash, kind of like a compost pile would. However, after years pass, he noticed that the hosts were not changing. They showed absolutely no decay. And just like all the other miracles, even though this happened 300 years ago, you can still see the hosts on display in this parish and they look brand new and fresh. It once again is an amazing Eucharistic miracle to prove to us that even though treated poorly by thieves and thrown into a dirty box, this really is Jesus Christ's body and therefore it's miraculous. 
So there you go, friends. Those are two more Eucharistic miracles. Tomorrow on the podcast, we are going to talk about a whole bunch of Eucharistic miracles that have happened recently, happened in the last 20 years. So if you think that all of these things just happened a long time ago, they don't happen anymore, well, my friend, you're wrong. So your challenge for today is once again to continue to meditate on the Eucharist, to think, now, if these things really happened, these miracles, then that means that Jesus really is present in the Eucharist. Do I show as much reverence for the Eucharist at Mass as I should? Do I reverence the tabernacle as I should? And do I truly approach the sacrament of Eucharist with this much belief and joy? That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. One final word to the grown-ups. Thank you so much for listening to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. I would like to invite you to join a special Facebook group just for those that listen to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. We will use this group to connect, to share resources around that week's theme, and simply celebrate raising future saints. To find the direct link to the Facebook group, simply check the notes for this podcast episode. Thank you.